Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Gleimer, orthopedic spine surgeon with Regional Orthopedic in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. When I finished my fellowship in spine surgery, I had a fascination with better implant for our anterior lumbar inner body fusions systems that require screws in order to fixate the cage. I have found, and I think a lot of yourselves and at least peers in my own community, find frustration. We have to provide a larger exposure in order to get the screws fixated. So this was in the forefront of our minds. Our team of engineers really worked diligently to provide a fixation method for the camber spine Enza A-lift cage through an anterior retroperitoneal exposure to truly fixate the cage in a direct midline fashion. We wanted this plate fixation that extended into both vertebral bodies. And this is where the Enza cage came from. Once this was configured, we really saw the benefits. Inside the lab and now and over the past year or more, we've been utilizing this in our daily practices. And what we see is a truly superior direct midline anterior cage. The cage allows for one step insertion, impaction, and then fixation of the blades. If you are truly going to place posterior fixation and you know that your goal is to get indirect decompression of the neural foramens, you place a midline cage, you fixate your blades, you get the patient turned over, and then you place your pedicle screws, interspinous device, interlaminar device, your choice. But you know that you have solid fixation through the front with the least amount of aggravation. It provides not only ease of use to you as a surgeon, but truly uh, provides a, a much lower complication profile for your patients. Your access surgeon doesn't need to provide a large field of exposure. They're not dissecting out the vessels. They show you midline at the L5-S1 level. They show you midline at 4-5, 3-4. Continue on to the comfort level of your co-surgeon. Without a doubt, placing the most perfect cage anteriorly and supplementing fixation posteriorly, I haven't used a better cage than the Camber Spine Enza A-Lift cage. Now I want to show you intraoperatively uh, what we've all seen before. So you'll see the exposure, and then you'll see in particular the actual cage itself. Uh, you'll see one of the features that we really like, and I think a lot of us would agree that uh, impaction grafting, at least for the orthopedic surgeons out there, we recognize the benefit. A bone doesn't like to jump, so bone needs direct contact with the surface to fuse, and the spine is no different. We do have some luxuries in the spine, but we still need good contact of our bone graft and our bone. So when these blades deploy in the ends of cage, you actually impact the graft against the two adjacent end plates. By doing this, you've really improved the actual osseous contact of your graft as well as your end plates. It's something we'll look to prove clinically, but uh, theoretically it makes perfect sense.